Hey guys, Christy Collins here with Southern Bell Firearms Training, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about holsters. I get a lot of questions about where to carry, how to carry, what holster to carry it in, things like that. I also see the other extreme where people don't ask the questions and I will see people just throw a gun in their purse, in their driver bag, or briefcase bag, or whatever it is that they have, even a glove compartment in the car. These are all bad ideas. You want to go with something that you know, something that you've researched, and something that you are comfortable with and familiar with and is also trained with. So I want to first talk about different types of places to carry. So we'll talk about specific holsters in another video, but for this video I really want to talk to you specifically about where the different locations are. So we're going to go from most ideal to least ideal. Okay. So the first, the most ideal place is going to be your waistband. Anything around your waistband, anything that attaches to your belt, things like that is going to be the most ideal. There's many, many options for that as far as belt in the waistband, outside the waistband, appendix carry, um, the small of your back, three o'clock, whichever is the most convenient. There also is compression shorts, yoga style pants, um, things like that with built-in holsters there. That is going to be the most ideal. Once you figure out the most ideal, which is your waistband, it's the most accessible for you, but it's also the most controllable for you. Okay? Then we're going to move outward from there. So our next place, especially for women, is going to be um, in this torso area. We have the luxury of being able to have a bra holster. So it clips right here in your bra or here on the side panel of your bra, whichever side your, um, is your dominant side. So you're going to be able to attach it there and be very concealable. Uh, there's also belly bands, things like that. So any type of torso carry here. Uh, then your next one is going to be anything on your appendages. So that's going to be your thigh holster, your ankle holster, things like that. Those are great for people that either wear dresses or ladies that wear slacks to work. You can wear usually um, your ankle holster will fit nicely up under those dress pants. Um, the least ideal place and the most common I've seen with women is purse carry or off body carry. Um, there's lots of different options for that, concealed carry purses, clutches, briefcases, things like that. Many, many options there, but like I said, it's going to be the least ideal. And we'll talk specifically about why that's least ideal, but the basic gist is that it's the least able to be controlled by you. Um, and it's harder to access, but I will say this. Sometimes having a gun is better than not having one at all. So even if it's in a less ideal location due to your attire or activity of choice, it's better to have one with you than to not have one at all. So I'll leave it at that for today, but we're going to talk specifically about each holster that I personally use and my favorites and some suggestions of how to train and things like that with each holster as we go. So I will be posting those videos here shortly. Keep an eye out for those. Make sure that you're subscribing to my YouTube page or liking my Facebook page in order to make sure that you see those updates as we go. So as, as always, if there's any questions, please let me know and I will be sure to keep posting. Thanks. Bye.